we have heard at other times that the gate for something good is narrow and it's difficult and very few enter it to accomplish something of greater value you need to suffer and bear a lot for its sake for jesus suffering wasn't the end but focused towards the resurrection consider that was the only narrow door he had to enter in order to bring life moses in today's first reading presents the choice of life and death but the life and death is not visible right before them what may sound to them as life would be only a door that doesn't lead you to life but death so it acts only as a temporary life life of pretense whereas what looks like death like that of the suffering and death of jesus in fact leads to life and that is what jesus mentions in the gospel that he is going to embrace it he is going to suffer and die only to rise again so we make the choice not based on how it's displayed to us but really focusing on its core if we constantly choose good and life the world around us would have been so good but most of the time we will end up choosing evil and death it doesn't looks to be death while we make the choice as we would fix our eyes only on what's visible before us and not what will follow thereafter moses says life and death blessings and curse is set before you choose life not what's displayed to be life or what looks like life he says choose life choosing to follow the commandments choosing to follow the cross the sufferings would sound like death but that is what gives us life together with those god principles and jesus says to us today if you want to follow me be ready to lose your life because that would save it if you want to follow me be ready to say no to your own self take up your cross and follow me what could be seen as losing your life will surely save it let us ask the lord to open our eyes to these god principles not the way the world functions not the way those are being presented to us but that god may give us wisdom to really know the depths of what is visible to us